Renfrewshire sure is to benefit from a new approach to providing health and social care for people to live safely in their own homes or in a homely setting as they get older. The Renfrewshire Development Programme is about taking a proactive approach to supporting people to manage their health for as long as possible in their own homes and where we can stop a person's health from deteriorating at an early stage to prevent complications. It's also about making sure that the right services are in place so people aren't admitted to hospital if they're okay to go home. Making sure that people only go to accident and emergency if they really need to and cutting the time people actually have to spend in hospital. The programme is designed to work out the best ways to join up the services provided by hospitals, GPs and community services. People will be seen by specialists sooner and important decisions about their care will be taken earlier. In addition to the services already in place, four key developments have been put in place at the same time in Renfrewshire as part of the programme to test their collective impact. You will hear more about these four new services shortly. The Renfrewshire Development Programme is a template which will influence how people are cared for in the future, not just in Renfrewshire but across the whole of NHS Greater Glasgow and Clyde. This innovative programme is a partnership between patients and their carers, clinicians at the Royal Alexandra Hospital, GP practices, community health services, Renfrewshire Council Social Work Services and the third sector. Anticipating the care people will need is really important where someone has complex health and social needs. Complex needs are where a patient has a mixture of health and social problems, usually relating to old age or dementia. If you have complex needs, after you and your family, your GP is the person who probably knows most about the care you need. But what happens if there's an emergency when the doctor's surgery is shut? A&E, or NHS 24, might not know all the medication you're taking, the full range of conditions that affect you, or indeed relevant information about your social circumstances. This is where the anticipatory care plan, prepared in advance, comes in. This plan is designed to support you and is drawn up with you, your family and your GP. It sets out what should happen if you have a health crisis out of hours. This way, what you want and what's best for your health is all down in black and white. The plan also means that your GP's shared information is instantly available so you get the best possible care day or night. It also means you won't get rushed to hospital if all you need is some help at home or a change in your medication, for example. Central to this plan is the aspiration for the patient to be supported at home or community and not be admitted to hospital inappropriately. All 13 GP practices in Paisley are working together to put anticipatory care plans in place for all their patients with complex needs. Sometimes older people and people with disabilities get admitted to hospital after they've been treated at A&D. Often there isn't any medical reason for them to stay in hospital. But they get admitted because their condition means they could have problems coping on their own at home. This is where the new Community inReach team comes in. Hi there, hi it's Victoria, the OT from the inReach service. The team quickly arranges the help and support patients need, such as transport, the provision of meals or the installation of equipment, so it's safe for them to go home and they don't have to stay in hospital unnecessarily. The team also works closely with the patient's GP and other health and social work teams in the community to make sure that the plan put in place for the patient at a &E is enacted. This is particularly important because it ensures the patient is followed up and gets the continuing care and support they need, which may well prevent a repeat trip to a and &E. 
Hospitals can be a difficult environment for adults who are older and more frail. We've set up a new unit to make the experience easier by making sure that when older adults come to A&E, they get the right care, the right place, at the right time, from the right people. This will also help to reduce the length of time they need to spend in hospital. Our new unit is staffed by specialists, trained in looking after older people. In the Older Adults Assessment Unit, we don't just treat the patient's immediate medical condition, we also check their mental health, what medications they're on, what they have in the way of care at home from the council, and what they can do physically. This full assessment, carried out when the older person comes to A&E, helps cut the length of time people have to stay in hospital, prevents future admissions to hospital, and can stop existing medical conditions from getting worse. We're also trying out a new service for patients who come to accident and emergency suffering from a suspected heart attack. Each year over 3,000 patients come to the Royal Alexandra Hospital with chest pain. It can take up to 12 hours to carry out a full assessment on someone to exclude a heart attack. The assessment can also involve an overnight stay in hospital. Yet many of these patients don't actually have heart problems. Our new chest pain assessment unit is staffed by heart specialists who can provide a quick, clear diagnosis within three hours using a very sensitive blood test to exclude heart damage. This allows us to determine who is at low risk of suffering complications from a suspected heart attack. Patients can go home sooner, often without having to stay in hospital overnight. The emergency department at the Royal Alexandra Hospital treats many thousands of patients each year. Many of these patients have serious injuries or illnesses that need the specialist skills of the emergency team. However, every day there are people who turn up at the department with problems that are neither serious nor an emergency. In doing so, they are taking up our valuable specialist skills and diverting our time and resources away from those who really need them. Given that they are not a medical priority, they will also find themselves having to wait, sometimes for lengthy periods, whilst more urgent cases are prioritised. The Renfrewshire Development Programme is therefore a very important initiative, which is helping us to develop new ways to ensure that patients who do come to our emergency departments inappropriately can be assisted to get the right treatment and advice from the right place at the right time, and also prevent unnecessary trips to emergency departments at all by offering alternatives in the community. Patients and their carers have helped shape the Renfrewshire Development Programme and are central to its success. The key to making this programme work is our partnership with our patients and their representatives, the voluntary sector and the Scottish Ambulance Service. Everything we are doing is about delivering the best possible care to patients as early as possible. An important part of the programme is informing patients and the wider community about the work that is going on. We are committed to listening to your views and continuing to use them to shape the services we provide. A member of the project team is available to talk to community groups. You can get more information about the Renfrewshire Development Programme from Sylvia Morrison, Head of Primary Care and Community Services, Renfrewshire Community Health Partnerships on 0141 618-7640 or email sylvia.morrison at ggc.scot.nhs.uk